my name is Major Payne and in this today's video I will show you how to play Art of War 3 on your PC using Nox Player. As you guys notice here, Nox Player uh, is uh, very smooth, the graphic is very nice and the most important thing is uh, you have no lag. Well, depends on your PC spec. But I will show you now the, the settings what I use in Nox Player for my PC. In uh, the description of this video guys I will put a link to Art of War 3 Wiki as this video is specially made for that. Uh, over there you can find uh, how to use the settings for your own PC, depends on the spec. So uh, you guys are better uh, checking that one out as well. Okay, right, first of all guys you have to download Nox Player on your PC. So uh, you just go simple on Google, just write Nox Player, press enter and the multiple website will pop up. But normally I use the www.bignox.com and uh, I will put a link in my description of this video guys if you want to use that will not be a problem so just click on it and this will pop up you just press download and uh, bottom left corner of your screen uh, the software will download just wait a couple of seconds and after that just press on it and uh, install Nox Player bear in mind guys uh, using Nox Player you have to use your Google account uh, if you don't use your Google account, uh, all the progress what you had on your phone will not be saved. Just use it, guys. Anyway, you can't use Nox Play without putting your Google Play account in. Right, guys, so after you did download the, the software, uh, it will look like this. Uh, two icons will appear. The first one will be the emulator itself, and this one will be multi-drive. So uh, I didn't uh, try to see how this is working, but apparently you can use more emulators in the same time. Or if you want to play two uh, games in the same times, you can add more emulators there. But uh, at this point, uh, I don't know really how to use it. I just know to use only one emulator and the settings. So uh, if you guys find out how to use it, just let me know. Right, okay guys, so uh, after you download the software itself, after you put your Google Play account in, uh, to put your Google Play account is very easy. You just go over there. Uh, anyway, Nox Player will uh, ask you straight away before, I mean, after you download the, the, the software, will ask you to put your Google Play account. You can do it then or you can do it later. But if you press later, you always can go here. You see? You press that and you just go here. And uh, press in with your Google account. So uh, I have already Art of War 3 downloaded here. But if you guys want to download it, you just go on search. So you just put Art of War 3. And, uh, and you have to find where is uh, the app. So you just scroll down and if you guys see here, you have apps. So just click on that and we'll take you straight away to Google Play on your PC. But uh, I have already downloaded the game, but you guys will have here installed. So just install it, wait a couple of seconds and it will be all right. So um, let's, let's uh, press play. Right, another awesome thing guys is, uh, you can use the sound as well, um, let me just show you, it's, it's very nice this software, uh, the thing is what I wanted to show you, right, just one second, uh, are the set settings, so uh, you have multiple settings here, uh, the settings what I want to show you now is performance settings, how I said, you depends on your PC spec guys, uh, I do use this. Um, have a look at Art of War Free Wiki in the description below, guys. Uh, we'll tell you exactly what to do. As I have six scores, just one second. Right. So if you press on your keyboard, Control, Alt, Delete, the Tasks Manager will come up and just press Tasks Manager. And uh, here you can find out what spec has your PC. So if you press Performance, and CPU on the bottom right corner you will have uh, cores so I have six cores um, as Art of War 3 wiki uh, will tell you exactly how to do it so for example I have six cores uh, normally I allocate three cores for uh, Nox player and three cores for the computer you can do two cores for Nox player or you can do four cores for Nox player you have to play a bit with the settings right yes and to make sure that the visualization is enabled. Uh, this is the most important things. How I said, 
uh, on Art of War Free Wiki website, you will find out why. Right, okay, so uh, how I said, I allocate the CPUs for Nox players free and the memory, I will put 6,000 megabytes. That will be in six, six giga, gigabytes RAM. So if you go on memory here, you, you can find out how much uh, gigabytes you have of RAMs. I have 16, so I will allocate for Nox player 6,000. I can use up till 8,000. Don't try to use more than 8,000 gigabytes, yes? Because uh, you, your computer might lag after that. Right, so after we did this, we have to go, uh, normally after you install the software itself, normally the software will be on OpenGL Plus. But uh, my suggestion is, and uh, the suggestion for Art of War Free Wiki, Super D of course, he's awesome. Uh, the, the, be the best setting is a basic mode, DirectX. If fails to run compatibility mode, you could try switching to the speed mode. Uh, I'm not sure how it really works, but uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask uh, Super D on Art of War Free Wiki. Uh, there, there will be another resolution settings, guys. As my uh, PC will handle 2K graphics, uh, the settings I will put them on 2560 by 1440. Um, how I said, this is for my PC, guys. Probably you guys want to put it at 1280 uh, by 720. Uh, how I said, it's up to you guys. You have to play a bit with the settings. So. Uh, save the settings uh, after that the um, Nox player will ask you to restart the software just press restart at this point it, it, it did ask me already because I uh, did these settings before so I just loaded the campaign mission now and uh, I just want to show you guys these bad boys here so uh, I will show you exactly how to set it up. As you guys notice on the screen, I uh, did put a webca webcam on my uh, keyboard because um, I want to move, instead of moving the screen with my mouse, I want to move the screen with my uh, keys on the keyboard. So for example, I will allocate for those um, key sets, I will allocate WSDA, you know, up, down, right and left yes so if you go on uh, view control you just, just press that and uh, you guys uh, will see this so uh, as I showed you before you saw the mouse moving the screen uh, whatever you want to so you can uh, you, you can set up here you know the the speed but normally I like to use it at around 90 and in the same time if you allocate the the keys from your keyboard here if you press keyboard uh, you will have the same the speed so I, again I used to have it around 80 90 so if you click the that arrow there with left click and after that you can put you can press a key on your keyboard so for example I want to go up yes but instead of uh, putting W if you want to go up just put S uh, it is a bit the uh, other way around I'm not sure why so yeah I just want to let you guys know so I will go down now, so I press W. If I want to go left, I press D instead of A. So if I want to go right, I press A instead of D. Okay, so now you save it, yes? As you guys notice on the keyboard, I go up, down, left, right, without pressing uh, the mouse. <laughs> this is cool, isn't it, guys? So uh, let's go back. Uh, if you guys notice here, show mapping instruction when game starts. Under that, you will have opacity settings. So, uh, if you do it like around 60. Right, okay, you guys notice on the screen. Uh, you have the keys from your keyboard uh, visible. Uh, probably you guys want to do that. I don't know, probably you want to use it, probably not. But uh, I like to use it with uh, nothing. The opacity zero. But I just leave it like that for now, just to show you a bit more. So, now again, if you go there, you have this one here. Right, I did allocate one for the boost, so let's uh, delete this and press it again, just press left click, you see guys, this one will pop up, just move it in the middle of the, the boost, uh, soft keys or how you want to call it, and I like to allocate the letter R from my uh, keyboard, yeah, so I just press R, save, guess what will happen guys, if you press R, uh, the game will go straight away to uh, your boost so you can use whatever you want with your mouse yeah so press r and we'll go to the boost right i used to do on uh, this soft key for the game 
to build your buildings so go again uh, just click on it I used to allocate the letter E so press E yes save and here you go go up down left right you want to do your deployment time buildings just just press E and enter you know press again E click enter or how you want to call it uh, actually you can set up your own uh, key set if you want to do like that press E after that you set up I don't know for example number one like let's place this building you set up number one for that yeah and if you press number one will uh, do it automatically guys so another awesome thing uh, right another thing what I want to show you let's go back uh, it is this one as you guys see you have to press this when you want to select your unit to make it easier much easier for you guys you allocate another key set for that option there so for example go back just click on this and uh, I will use right click so if I press right click on my mouse save instead of going back there I just right click select the unit isn't it awesome guys it is awesome I really like this so again right click select units very fast very very fast right guys i hope i was uh, helpful with this video if uh, you have more questions feel free to contact me on discord or check out art of war free wiki and i'm sure someone will uh, help you out if you have any questions uh, thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time bye bye